What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a video today. We got ourselves a Cradley Storm Drain team on our hands. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. And if you guys haven't checked out my brand new playthrough on channel for Pikmin 3 Deluxe, get over there. Go check it out. Show some love. Show some support over there. That playthrough was an absolute blast. We have part one up which is just an introduction and part two which is actually us getting into the game i highly recommend checking out it is tons of fun for me to play and i bet it is a blast to actually watch because it's just a bunch of pikmin we got a big old army and we're throwing them all around so definitely show some love over there but rocking out on this team today like i said new pokemon alert over here we got cradley one of the fossil pokemon from gen 3 and this thing has storm drain on it which is absolutely amazing rocking grass stripe piping with the power herb so meteor beam can go in one shot we can get that special attack boost we also got earth power for coverage giga drain for stab and hp recovery and protect as our final move right next to him we got ourselves the one and only rotom pizza oven rotom heat normal little pokemon over here with the same old moves that it usually uses citrus berry levitate ability overheat t-bolt both for stab nice spot set up and protect behind my face cam is a pokemon we haven't seen a lot of but i'm actually hyped to use again mimic you over here with disguise and that mental herb and then a fairly normal move set for doubles with the trick room play rough phantom force and sword stance to set up T-Tar right next to him. Big old boy right here. Weakness policy as always is his best little item right there. And set the sand stream for our sand rush. Straker fish with a rock slide, lash out, superpower, and protect. Right below him, we got the boy Draco Fish with that light bulb. This thing hits like an absolute truck, especially if you get a sand rush. It's double speed. Nothing's really outspeeding that thing. We got light bulb on it for the 1.3 times multiplier. Fish is red for big stab damage. We got rock slide, EQ, and protect. Final spot, we got the one and only, one of the best Pokemon in my opinion. For the new series, Tapu Fini with the Misty Surge leftovers and a normal move set of Calm Mind to set up. Moon Blast, Muddy Water, both for stab and protect as its final move. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys. This guy's got a pretty scary looking team considering he has Dragonite on. And everybody knows Dragonite's an absolute beast. He also has Sylveon. I think Sylveon's an absolute beast as well. Heatran, Suicune. Cartana and Tapu Koko. He's got Cocoa Beans in the final position. Who do I want to bring? Who do I want to lead? Okay. I think I definitely want to bring Sandstorm Boys with uh, Sand Rush, Draco Fish, and Titar. I feel like that's a good little thing. I want to show off Cradley as well. I feel like that, that'd be very, very nice. I, maybe lead Cradley? That's not a bad play. That's not a bad play. Lead Cradley? Maybe with the Titar for the Sandstorm? That would, that would benefit us as well. He has no weather control here. I'm fine with that. I might go into that. Or I could lead Tapu Fini. But I kind of want to leak Cradley, maybe get off a Meteor Beam, go from there, rock out after that. Um, hmm, hmm, kind of want to go Mimikyu, I might lead Mimikyu, or just bring Mimikyu in the back end. How do I really want to play this? We don't have Storm Drain, so I could actually, uh, save Cradley for the back end. It wouldn't be bad, because he might lead Sweeping. I'm actually just going to lead him, I'm going to go Titar, I'm going to bring Draco Fish, and then in the final spot, Mimikyu or Finny. I think Mimikyu's a little bit better here. Let's go Mimikyu. Let's go Mimikyu here. He'll be a little bit better than the Finny, in my opinion, considering he has Kartana, and Kartana can just leak blade, psh, psh, slap up, drop him down, hit him low, but yo. Actually, I, I actually love getting like an extra playthrough on the channel, considering we finished Mario Sunshine. Now we got Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Yo, it's so much fun. I can actually switch back and forth playing them so I don't get burnt out of just one game. But yeah, now I'm having more fun with this game and more fun with Pikmin 3. Like, Pikmin 3 is an absolute blast for me, yo. Definitely check it out. Show some love over there. I promise you guys will enjoy it. But we go Titar and Cradley. Oh, shit. Oh, he's looking spiffy. And stream boosting. We can just water type. It's not ice type. I'm surprised they never changed that. It's a little weird, right? But... I could just drop a Meteor Beam. I'm dropping a Meteor Beam. I'd rather get after this thing right here. I'd rather get after you, and I might Dynamax up on you. Actually, do I protect? I could Lash out. I think I might just drop a Rock Slide. I'm thinking I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide here. Considering if Sweeping goes for a Water Move, I don't know if he knows if Cradle Storm Drain. It'd be pretty nice. He's got a Dragon Dance. Oh, that's huge. We, we could pick up the, the KO here. We could pick up the KO. That'd be enormous. He tries Dragon Dancing. Tailwind's going to get bobbing. Dude, hold up. This could be huge for us. If we can take out Dragonite this turn, we're thriving. Rockside's got to connect. Okay, Rockside connects. That's beautiful. Love to see it. That Dragonite's gone. That Dragonite's gone, and I'm probably going to Dynamax my Cradle here. He can boost weakness policy. I'm probably going to Dynamax my Cradle here. Meteor Beam's going to come out here. Let's go. Let's power this thing up. We got Power Herb coming in. We're going to get plus one. I might Dynamax him. I'm going to say bye-bye to uh, bye -bye Dragonite. The reason I rock slided was to try to get a flinch and at the same time 
was uh, just in case this thing Dynamax. He could take off his multi scale if it was using it. But yeah, get him out of my face, yo. I'm sick of you, Dragonite. I'm sick of you. That Dragon Dance, nothing. You just waste a turn. He just got off the Tailwind, though, which is pretty devastating. We can get buffed. That's huge. Okay. So they do have Tailwind. We got to remember that. I could go for a Giga Drain. He cannot go for water moves. I don't know. I don't think he knows that we are Storm Drained, which is huge. He's going to send out Kartana. And that is a scary little mine right there. I think I protect Titar. I think I protect Titar. I get after his Giga Drain. This Kartana is going to be a beast. He's going to probably drop a grass move. And who do I have in the back end? I do have Draco Fish still waiting here. Who Giga Drain? Giga Drain would be huge. I do want a Meteor Beam again, but I cannot. I would love the Meteor Beam, but I think Giga Drain is to play. Okay, let's just take out this Suicune. And I think I just protect you. I think that's a big protect here. I think we just, think we just protect, start wasting out Tailwind turns. He might Dynamax. It's not. Okay. So I think he wants to go for a Leaf Blade over onto my, uh, my T-Tar or, or Sacred Sword. Either or. He's going for. Try to get the KO and then Beast Boost up. He's going to go for an Ice Beam here. I think he knows he can't, he can't do anything with that. We're going to be able to eat that up. That's fine. And I believe our Giga Drain should be able to come out here, pick up the KO, and regenerate all of our health, right? Yeah, yo, Cradle, he coming in big, baby. He coming in hot. He's coming in hot. No worries, no worries. All right, now do I Dynamax Titar, eat up the Sacred Sword, and just dump on that Kartana? I think that's the play. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. I think we can do that. Sylveon's going to pop here, which is kind of scary. Sylveon's kind of scary here. That's super effective to my Tar, man. Now, I don't think we do that. I think, uh... I would love to drop a Meteor <laughs> I would absolutely love to. I think we just start uh, dropping Giga Drains over on here. I don't think we Dynamax here. I really don't think we Dynamax. I think we just go for a Super Power over on Kartana slot. I think he's not going to Dynamax this yet. Okay, he's going to Dynamax Sylveon, which I'm actually fine with. I'm actually fine with. Is it going to be Sylveon? Or is he going to go Kartana and try to start Beast Boosting? Up? Let's see. It's going to be Kartana. He's going to go and he's going to start Beast Boosting up. He's going to go for a Knuckle. He probably will. A Knuckle will probably KO my Guitar. The problem is we gotta waste out this uh, Tailwind. Cradle Leaf should be able to eat up whatever uh, what's going has to offer Sylveon. Yeah, here, here goes the Knuckle. Knuckle's not gonna, it's only gonna boost Kartana. And there goes the, the plus two actually. He's gonna get plus one from attack. Oh no, man. That's scary. That is scary. We need that thing out the way. He's scaring me. I think Mimikyu's gotta be our Dynamax Pokemon then. Cause then we can disguise and then eventually probably, I don't know if we're gonna be able to outspeed that thing. Eat, dude. Not liking that one bit. I'm liking that one bit. Here comes, here comes the Hyper Boys, which my boys should be able to eat up. Yeah, thank you, Cradley. Doing your job. Giga Drain coming out here. We're going to get some HP back as well, which you love to see. This thing's a special defense tank. That thing's a special defense tank. I was able to eat that up very, very well. But we get that out. Buffets are popping out for only Sylveon, actually. That thing's steel. Uh, Dracofish. Are you outspeeding Dracofish? I do have Protect on this thing. I do have Protect, which I actually really, really like. Dragonfish is going to pop here. I'm going to save my Dynamax for my Mimikyu. I think that's 100% to play. How many turns left in Tailwind? One. Okay, so I think I protect my boy here. No, I set up a Meteor Beam. Do I start setting up a Meteor Beam? Or I could double protect. I think I'm just going to Giga Drain. Keep throwing damage on the Sylveon. And I think I protect you. And then go into the Fish's Run. Hmm, I don't know. That's tough. I think we're dead. We're saying no, no, no. We we gotta protect it. We have to protect. Cause then we we'll, we should be able to outspeed. We should have one more turn left in the tailwind after this, or uh, not in the tailwind in the sandstorm. That's gonna be huge. He's gonna come out with a uh, overgrowth over onto please jerkfish. Okay, yeah, yeah. jerkfish should be able to eat right. Jerkfish eats up all day, and then I'm gonna go into a fish's run on the cartoon slot. I think that's the play, and that actually helps me out tremendously. Using my boost for my cladily. He's gonna go for a hyper voice. Hyper voice pops. Get out of my face. We should have one more turn left in Sandstorm, which is gonna benefit us very much. Very, very much. Literally eats. He's gonna get a boost from the grassy surge now, or the grassy terrain. So we're gonna be able to do more damage than that. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So gotta go for Fish's Run over on Kartana. That's a fact. That is a fact. I have to do as much damage as, as I can over on the Kartana slot. So Fish's Run over there. Try to do as much damage as I can. Um. Hmm. And just Giga Drain again? This thing could guard, which would be smart. That'd be smart if he does guard. But I'm just gonna Giga Drain over onto you. And then I gotta go for that Fish's Run. I gotta do, do as much damage as I can to Kartana. Is he gonna guard? Let's see. He's gonna just go for a quick attack, that's fine. 
Should be able to eat. Good work, Draco Fish. Love you, buddy. This just friend comes out. Stop. I, bro, did I just do that to myself? Did I just do that to myself? Did I just do that to myself? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, you're gonna go after you. But chill on me. Jeans, 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 man. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Did I just screw myself over? Might have did. I might have did, but clearly put on a show. I saw Mims. Still Mimikyu. Quick Attack's gonna take me out. The Quick Attack does take me out. I gotta Dynamax Mim. Mim, Mim, Mim's gotta get Dynamax. I'm scared of that, uh. I'm scared of that, what's it called? Of the Cartana. Cartana outspeeds me, right? Hmm. He's probably gonna try to take off the skies here. Maybe drop a hyper voice. I think I just try to take out Sylveon. I gotta Dynamax you. Starfall, Phantasm. Hmm. There we go for Phantasm. Over on to you. Um, I need to go for. I need to go after you. I need to get after you. I need to get after Sylveon. Dude, that's Storm Drain, man, from Declatively. He's got a quick attack. That's an obvious play. I probably should have protected again. Eat up another. Yeah, I should have. Man, dude, I should have protected again. I should 100% protect it again. Bruh. That's what you get for taking two days off to play Pikmin 3. Should've protected there. 100%. He's gonna oh, quick attack into me. If I could've kept my, uh, my boy alive. My Draco Fish alive for another turn. Would've been huge. He's definitely quick attacking. Yeah. Oh, you're going after- Oh, you're going- Oh. Oh. You gotta take off my disguise and look for the KO. You're gonna try to do that. Well, he might get it with a, with a steel move. Can you miss, please? Can you miss? Or should I eat it? Sad face. Very sad face. <laughs> Very sad face. Dang it, dude. All right, Draco. I need you here, big dog. I need you here, Draco. I need Draco or any Cartana to miss. I'm not going to quit yet because this match is not over. Fish Strength comes out here. Bop. Out of here. I, th I think Cartana still eats up a shot. I'm saying maybe I need him to double miss. Something along those lines. But Smart Strike doesn't miss, I don't think, right? Smart Strike, I think, might be 100% accurate. E, dude. E! Chill on me. Still gonna go for the fish's run. Still gotta go for it. Still gotta drop it. Miss, man. Leaf Blade. Miss. Dang it. That's game. That is game, yo. GG. That was actually a very good first battle, to be honest. Made two two little small moves, or one actual small move by going in that fish run. We could take out the Sylveon. And probably had the win, but clearly got the show off, and it wasn't a bad battle. This dude's stacking up here for battle number two. He's got the Chlorophyll Venusaur alongside with the Torkoal, and then he's got the Whimsicott Charizard combo, Darmantan, and Incineroar in the back end. Two very, very strong Pokemon. Well, not two very strong Pokemon. A very strong team all around with Charizard and Venusaur. Um, where should I go? Kind of, I kind of wish I had a fake out here. I really do wish I had a fake out here. I definitely want to bring Draco. Gotta get the Draco up in here. Uh, Draco Fish with the Storm, with the, not Storm Drain. I don't even think I need Claydol here. It could rock out up against a Charizard, just <laughs> whipping that thing down. Ooh, and, oh my god, yeah, clearly actually doesn't work all around. But then the Storm Drain doesn't really come into effect. Um, I kind of want to go, do I just go Titar and Draco in turn one? I think I go Cladle here. I don't like that combo. I don't like that a lot. Um, Draco Fish 100%. And then I think we maybe go Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini's not a bad call here. I think Tapu Fini's going to be the final call. I don't really think we need... Ugh, dude, it's either Tapu Fini or Rotom Heat. I think we go Ro Rotom here. I think Rotom, because it does work up against the Charizard, the Whimsicott, the Venusaur, the Darmanitan, and then with the Fire Boost. I think I'm with it here. And I could potentially set up a nice spot and roll off from there. I kind of like that. I kind of like that over the Tapu Fini. And you know, Tapu Fini. We're a chance if we don't bring Tapu Fini two games in a row. But still, I really do like the the Kaleidoli, the Because the Kaleidoli works out in the, the Sandstorm because it's Rock. So I really like the, the T-Tar coming in with the Claydoli and the Draco Fish are just pairing well together with the Sandstorm. They're all Sandstorm buddies, you know? But uh, can we get ourselves our first win for the video? I really want it. That last one, probably, we probably could have won if we made a, a few different decisions there. Or maybe I uh, thought it out a little bit more. Who are you going to go? It's Cinnamon and Charizard, which I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine with. I drop a Meteor Beam. We get after it. T-Tar's going to come out here and that. Ooh, hey, hey, I don't, I don't like that. Uh, I do like Dynamax here. I definitely want to go for the Meteor Beam. I might protect. I think I'm going to, going to protect here. I'm going to fake out my T-Tar. But I double protect. I might double protect. I might Dynamax at Charizard. I'm not a fan. 
Definitely drop a rock slide. Get after both these chumps. You know what? Yo, we dropping a speedy remote charge. I don't care. I do not care. You go for your fake out, little buddy. You're going after my T-Tar for the fake out. No way. No way you're going after my clay doll, dog. Is fire super effective to this thing? He's part rock, so I'm hoping not. Hoping it's just like normal effective. Let's see what he does. Let's see, let's see his play. He, he might Dynamax Charizard, and we all know that that's a very scary, scary little situation there. But I think if he Dynamax to Charizard, I think Charizard's one of the hardest Pokemon to actually go up against. It's so good, man. I should have let Draco, though. Draco would have walked up in here. If you take out my Claydol here, I'll just bring out Draco. Draco should be able to outspeed Charizard. Roll out and probably dominate a lot of this battle here. Let's see, he's going to withdraw instantly. That's fine by me. Fine by me, pup. Brooklyn's going to come out here. Again, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. Unless he's going for a heat wave here. Then I don't know. That might take out my Claydol. I need his Claydol to eat. So we're going to do some damage to this Torkoal. Are you going to Dynamax? He is. The question is, who are you going after, Tyson? Kind of you going after my T-Tar? I would rather you go after my T-Tar, to be honest. Actually, no, I need my Sandstorm. <laughs> I need my Sandstorm. What are you going to do? Can you go after my T-Tar, but my T-Tar eats? And one of my Pokemon eat here. Now, now I want my T-Tar. Here goes Quake. It's got to be going after T-Tar, right? Eat it up, buddy. The thing's so strong. That is ridiculously strong. It's not even stab damage. It wasn't even stab. All right, but the thing is, do I think a meteor beam takes this thing out? If it does, that's huge. That's huge. And I, then I think I'm, I think I'm gonna get Rotom up in here. Meteor beam comes out. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. And I actually might Dynamax Claydol. Might Dynamax Claydol just to drop a rock. Maybe the play. Yo, end this thing. Get time to get out of my face. The Charizard out my face, yo. You cannot handle. The Claydol, you cannot handle this little fossil Pokemon dropping meteor beams on it. Get out of my face, Dynamax Charizard or G-Max Charizard. Not dealing with you. All right, so I think I get out Draco. I think that's the play. I think we get out Draco. I think we drop a rock on a Torkoal. And we might have to protect it if it gets Venusaur out here. I'm getting you out here. I'm changing this weather. I'm not dealing with it. He's going to get to our Manitan out here, actually. Which, I mean, Ice is scary here. This is definitely very scary. I think I just go here. Okay. I think I protect this turn. Save my dino. I thought he was going to get out Venusaur. I really do want to get my rock out here. I really do want to get my rock out here. Dude, actually, he's going to dump on my Draco. I should have dropped the rock. I should have protected my Draco drop a rock. I think he's going to go ice on my Claydol, though. Hopefully he made the right call. This might determine the game, man. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, man! Leave me alone! Go ahead, make a move. I really, I really probably should have Dynamax it. Probably should have Dynamax it. Let's go protect here. Come on, Darmanthan. Throw an Ice Punch over my slot. I'm um, Grash and Rock. Rock side. Okay. I'm with it. Um, I need Draco Fish to just kind of just hit the thing. And I, I, I don't need it to flinch. If it flinches, that's it. We're sitting in a tough full spot here. Fish Rank comes out. Why? Why? What am I doing? What is my deal? I just don't understand my deal. Dragonfish, thank you for at least dodging attack. Oh, dude, what am I doing wrong, man? What is my problem? <laughs> I'm Dynamaxing. I'm getting after. I'm dropping a rock. I'm dropping a rock. I think I want Twinkle out of here more so than Darmanitan. What do I want out? I'm Darmanitan posing that big threat. A Torkoal. What was it? We're gonna outspeed, so. And we're gonna get that boost. I said, I said we just uh, give it a Darmanitan here. I'm Dynamax and Claydol. He's gonna withdraw Darmanitan and get out Venus and Cinnamon. Okay. So I'll take that thing out all day. I'll tell it to go home. That's fine. I kind of I kind of like where we're sitting there. The Intimidate's gonna come out here. That's fine. Clearly's plus one and he's a special attack with one, so I kind of like that. But come on, jeans, man. Come on, jeans. That's that's two games in a row where I dropped the fish's red and totally forgot we're storm drained right next to it. <laughs> like I realize that when they have a water Pokemon, I'm like, yeah, go for a water move. But when I use my water move, I'm like I just just lose my mind. It's just out of there. But this shouldn't be a bad turn for us. Uh Incineroar should go down here. We change up the weather in our favor. Rockside's gonna come out here. 
do some damage. Maybe flinch the Torkoal. That'd be pretty big if we can flinch the Torkoal. But we are minus one now or two. Here goes my max rockfall. Should be able to say bye bye in Sonora. And we get weather advantage now as well. Nope. Out of my face. So we'll definitely outspeed the Darmanitan and potentially get a flinch with a rock slide. We are sand rush, baby. We are sand rush. Who would have thought Claydol would be this strong? This is actually really good. It's really good right now. I'm loving it. Look how flinches. Mwah. Mwah, baby. They're beautiful. They're beautiful, baby. They're beautiful, baby. Love to see it. We're buzzing. We're buzzing, baby. All right. Darmanitan pops. That's totally fine. Fine, my guy. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. I think we just drop a nice, nice, lovely little, little rock side right there. Another rock fall. Another rock fall. Yeah, I'm liking the rock fall. I'm liking the rock fall. Tell Darman to get out of here. I don't think this thing Sash could be choice. Figure if it's gonna be able to drop this. Another flinch opportunity, which is huge. Darman is gonna go down this game for this next turn. Make sure thriving. Maybe get double flinch. Let's see what we got. We're gonna go icicle crash. Fatally said dodge. He said yo. Take this. You want to come after me? I'm going to drop a big rock slab when you take him out. And that's going to be game, yo. That is going to be game. Clearly eating, baby. Did he get all four kills? He's going to get all four kills? Potentially. Right? He took out the Charizard. He took out Incineroar. He took out the Mantan. He's clearly sweeping, baby. Is clearly going to sweep here? Unless my boy takes it out. Unless my Dracofish takes it out. Actually, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can give him a free plus one on a special attack board. But nah, this dude cancels out. We chilling here. One and one. Very, very strong battle with clearly. Besides the one fish's friend that we that we didn't know was gonna trigger Storm Green, but still end up winning. We can hop into our third and final battle. Looking for that winning record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. This guy has Glacier. That's gonna be tough. He has Garchomp as well, and Top of Finny and Draco Fish. They're all very good Pokemon. All very good Pokemon. But for Christmas, I actually got like a mic stand. So eventually, in a little bit, when I rearrange, I'm gonna actually move all my setup into a different room. But I have my mic stand and all that. It's gonna be rocking out so I can do the Jeans Online Gaming Community. Probably a little bit better because I can just move the mic. It's like a hammer arm. I can just move it closer to my face, and it's gonna be awesome. But this guy, uh, who do I think he's going to leave? I don't know, maybe Pinchurch and he has that Electric Surge for what, though? For what's my question? I don't know what you're doing with that. I kind of want to leave Titar just for that Faramosa. I think he's going to be Sash, and if he leaves it, that's fine. I'm going to leave Dracofish. I'm going to get Dracofish out here. Clearly, you're coming back in, yo. He's been MVP star stunning all day. And Mimikyu, I think Tabu... Actually, no. Tabu Finny's a little bit better here. We're going Finny. We're going with Finny instead of Mimikyu. I like Finny a little bit better here. Let's get it. So Finny is gonna see is gonna see the show. Rotom Heat does not see the show today, but still, you guys already know plenty about it. He's been he's been playing on the rank ladder for a while now. But the Pokemon that I'm really scared of is that Glacier. I'm always scared of that thing. It's an absolute tank. It's an absolute beast. Probably because Bossy can go a lot strong. But I wonder what he has to pin Churchin in there. Maybe he just has a lightning rod Pokemon, but for who? And Churchin's got something up his sleeve, and it's scaring me, man. I'm not liking it one bit. <laughs> not one bit. But who are you going to lead? I can see Faramosa coming out for the lead with that Focus Sash. Show it to me. Faramosa, yep. That's why I love the T-Tar for the Buffets and the Sash. And he's going to go Drake Fish as well. Okay. So I protect T-Tar this turn, and I get after that Drake Fish. That's, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty steady move there. Turn there. Or I can just take out the... Uh... Is he going to be Sand Rush? Is he going to be Sand Rush? That's the real question. I'm definitely going to protect this turn. And I am going to get after Faramosa. I, mean, I think I get after Faramosa here. I don't see this Drake Fish really being Sand Rush. I really don't, so we'll see. Unless it's a speed tie. Bigger fish goes fish friend. This is mine. I think I don't think he's sand rush. So we're gonna bring this thing down to Sash, right? Yeah. So big calls by Jeans here. Thank my T Tar. He's gonna go for a speed. So, ooh. I still don't think you're faster than me. I still don't think you're faster than me. I still don't think he's faster than me. Office by Sandstorm. Takes out Baron Rose. Okay. The Dragon Fish is uh pushing a little speed here. Push on a little speed here. I cannot really have that thing going after my T Tar, so I might swap my T Tar out into my Tapu. And I hate this game. I hate this game a lot. I hate it. I hate this game a lot, actually. <laughs> like a little too much. Uh, let's drop a rock slide. I think I think T Tar just drops here. And get after the glaciers coming. Okay. I do not want to proc policy, so. Hold the phone. Wait up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Gonna lash out. Oh, dude, this game, man. This game. I really don't want proc policy. I'm just gonna lash out. Don't you? 
Wait, that will have been the Draco. Draco's looking pretty, pretty scary. I think we still outspeed Draco Fish. At the same time, I want to do some big damage on this Glacier slot. I do have Finny. And here comes the Dynamax from Glacier. Ah! Hate this game, man! I think if, uh... I think if he's not Sand Rush, my Draco Fish still outspeeds his Draco Fish, which, which is big. And, oh, wait. Oh, hey! Oh! What are you doing? You're like, why aren't I getting out Cladle? Why aren't I getting out Cladle? I have Storm Drink! What am I doing? What am I doing? Why aren't I getting out Cladle here? Okay, so I still outspeed. Do I KO this thing? I don't. It seems to tank. We still outspeed. Oh, he goes for a warm one. Let's go for a warm one. He kicks me out. Oh, yeah, I should have doubled up in that glacier. So he does Dynamax, I think. Uh, let's get out Claydol here. Where do I get out Finny? Last shot coming out. Put some damage on that. I think I get out Finny. Well, not Finny. Uh, Claydol. Close combat comes out. Okay, we're dead there. It looks like we got to get out both. And I think I Dynamax Finny and we roll from there. Finny's definitely going to be our Dynamax Pokemon. Finny, yeah. That kind of that kind of covers the uh, what's called up a lot, the Draco Fish, which I really really like. And what's called should be able to outspeed that thing. Play it all. We go for a Meteor Beam. We definitely take it out. Get my plus one. And then a uh, Max Starfall should be able to take out the. It's called no problem. The Draco. But he actually didn't go for the Water Move, so there was no need for me to go into Storm Drain. So that kind of worked out a little bit better for us. Clayton coming out here, boss. Boss man Clayton over here. And I wonder what he's going to go after. I don't really see much. We got the Misty Surge. He's popping. I think he might guard. I'm definitely dropping a big old, uh, big old Meteor Beam. Let me actually see this thing's speed. What's called might actually outspeed it, which is scary. Yeah, he is going to outspeed it. Then, then do I protect? I, th I, th I think I still get after this thing. I think I still get after this thing. Nice Starfall. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I should have just taken out the Glacier with the... I probably should have taken out the Glacier with the... With the... The Tapu. And then Meteor Beamed over on the fish. The fish. The Vichy fish. Alright, here comes my line. That's small jeans. Got this big weed into that. Weed into that. Alright, let's go. But oh, you know what I actually want? I have plushes of uh, all three starters. So I have plushes of Gore Bunny, Sabo, and Grookey. Like right next to me on my desk. I want to get Pikmin ones. Like a Rock Pikmin plush? That'd be fire, yo. I absolutely love Rock Pikmin. He's going to end up going for a Knuckle, Knuckle, Buckle. That's fine. He's going to boost attack. Playlist is going to say, yo, we eat, baby. And I think Glacier is going to come after my, my Finny. That's totally fine. As long as Finny eats up, then we, we're, we're thriving here. Here's my Starfall. Get him out of here. Get out of here, boy. Get him going. Get him going. You're out of here. All right, so he's boosting up Glacier. If Clay, if, uh, if Clayley doesn't go down here, we win this game. And lands his Meteor Beam. I should say that. Meteor Beam. Oh, he outspeeds him. Okay, cool. Never mind. Get him, get him out of here. Get him out of here. He outspeeds Glacier. It's fine. They got slow Glacier. This, this is a game. It's pretty much game, unless... Unless we miss. And I only see that happen once. I only see Meteor Beam miss once. It's fine. We got it. Get this thing out of here. Dump on it. We get that plus one. Your boy's looking to go two and one. Coming off of back to back Pikmin videos and going two and one. I do it all. I do it all, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, you guys know the deal. Click that subscribe button. Big red right below this video. While you're at it, there's another button. Looks like this. Looks like this. Click that as well if you guys are enjoying the content. Seriously, love the support. Thank you guys so much. Garchomp's gonna come out for the final mod. Yo, <laughs> too easy, man. It's too easy. Get him out of here. And this thing, what is this thing rocking? This thing has that Misty Seeds? Alright. Alright, I see how it is. I'll go for Giga Drain. Yeah, you better quit your battle, buddy. Better quit your battle. Coming after you. EQ's coming out here. Cladily eats, baby. Cladily eats. You love to see it. Starfall's gonna roll through here. That's game. Get out of my face. Get out of here. It does not end it. But still, we got my boy Claydoli coming in here for clutching it up. MVP of this video. Little fossil Pokemon from Gen 3. Get Garchomp out of here. That settles it. That settles the conversation, too. Claydoli is better than Dragonite, Garchomp. Who else? Who else would be just first? Charizard. He's just, Claydoli's just the best Pokemon. We go 2-1, and, and we get ourselves a winning record for today's video.
I did not think clearly it was going to be that good on the rank ladder. I think absolutely dominated. In game number two, it full swept, got all four kills. It clutched up in battle number three, and it did pretty well in battle number one. But this team was awesome. I'm so glad I got to use it. If you guys want to try it out, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.